your solar system pays for itself first by actually having that increased property value. And what, what I uh, related to is you're not really paying for a solar system, you're just moving your money out of your bank account onto your roof. Because the, the second you put a solar system on your roof, it's increasing your property value at least by the cost of the solar system. In fact, solar systems in Hawaii increase the property value well more than the value of the solar system. And California is on our way there already. And so that's kind of your first return on investment. And beyond that, the savings on a daily basis of, from not having to pay for power from your utility are, of course, going to pay for itself again. So the second you install your solar system, you're not actually spending money. You're just moving that money from your bank account onto your roof. And then it's going to pay for itself again and again. Over the next 25 years, you can expect your solar system to pay for itself 10 times over, potentially. Installing solar for multiple reasons increases property value. There's a few key benefits uh, when you're installing a solar system. A, of course, it's the panels themselves. Having solar panels on your roof, especially in California, with the cost of electricity rising and rising, having solar on your roof actually saves you real money. You know, we're seeing people with $3,000 mortgages and four or $500 electrical bills, that's no longer an insignificant cost. It's really, uh, your electrical bill is a, is a real cost that you have to incur on a monthly basis. And if by putting a solar system up, you're saving that money. It's true, it's a real, a real return on investment. And beyond that, the increase in property value alone with your solar system is well beyond just the panels themselves. It's also the ability to buy and sell power from PG&E. So when you buy a solar system, uh, in California, PG&E gives you an agreement, which is a 20-year NEM, Net Energy Metering Agreement. And in my opinion, that NEM, that Net Energy Metering Agreement, is actually more valuable than the solar panels itself. For example, in, in Hawaii, they actually stopped doing NEM. And the value of those houses that had them, because these houses had 20-year agreements with the utility to buy and sell power at market rate, that house was worth so much more because they had that agreement. In California, we're not far from that. PG&E's been trying to shut down NEM for a long time because it's not financially beneficial for them. I understand that. Uh, that being said, any house that already has a net energy metering agreement gets to hold on to it for the, for the entire uh, term of that, of that agreement, which at this point is 20 years. And so any home sold right now with a, with a net energy metering agreement, if it goes away, two or three years from now, you're gonna see those houses are gonna be so much more valuable than a house without solar on it.